All morning following the attempted assassination of Donald Trump at his golf resort down in Florida, you have had people from across the spectrum calling for politicians, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump to, to lower the tone of their rhetoric. And Kamala's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, political violence is never the answer. Tim Wall said the same thing. Joe Biden said the same thing, even called for the Secret Service to have more resources to help protect Donald Trump now that he's been uh, almost assassinated twice, less than two months. Um, and Donald Trump, guess what he did? You think he turned down uh, the, the rhetoric? Absolutely not. His first post to Truth Social this morning was fight, fight, fight. And then it got worse as the morning progressed. Just a few hours ago, as of me making, you know, the time of me making this video, he posted the rhetoric lies as exemplified by the false statements made by comrade Kamala Harris during the rigged and highly partisan ABC debate and all of the ridiculous lawsuits specifically designed to inflict damage on Joe's, then Kamala's political opponent, me, has taken politics in our country to a whole new level of hatred, abuse, and distrust. Right, Donald, it wasn't you who broke the law over and over and over again. It's the, uh, the, the, the system of justice that's holding you to account for that. Right, right, right. That's the problem. Everybody else but Donald Trump. He continues, he says, because of this communist left rhetoric, the bullets are flying and it will only get worse. Allowing millions of people from places unknown to invade and take over our country is an unpardonable sin. Now he's just completely uh, just taken a left turn and now he's just back to uh, attacking immigration, the, the great replacement theory, which is really interesting because mass shooters, Republican white mass shooters have used that in their manifestos to kill black and brown people. But we'll, we'll get to that a little later on. He says, our borders must be closed and the terrorist criminals and mentally insane immediately removed from American cities and towns, deported back to their countries of origin. We want people to come into our country, but they must love our nation and come in legally and through a system of merit. The world is laughing at us fools. They are stealing our jobs and our wealth. We cannot let them laugh any longer. Make America great again. Okay, Donald. He then posted just an hour ago. And like I said, it was getting worse and worse, right? Well, here it is. Illegal migrants who are pouring into our country in record numbers are taking the jobs away from black and Hispanic people who have held them for years. It is devastating for the black and Hispanic patriots of our nation. These jobs are not replaceable and never will be because under comrade Kamala Harris, the border will be wide open and there will always be more people coming in, many of them terrorists and criminals than jobs available. Kamala is killing black and Hispanic heritage. She is killing their legacy and their rights. Register and vote for your all time favorite president, me. November 5th will be the most important day in the history of our country. Make America great again. The great replacement theory says that these migrants are coming in and that Democrats are using them to vote for the Democratic Party. That's how they're getting all of their power. Donald Trump here is trying to use that against, he's trying to use that against Kamala Harris to, to siphon votes from the black and Hispanic community. The community that Kamala Harris is a part of. Kamala Harris is both black and brown. She is a black American and an Indian American. And that's not the same thing as Hispanic American, but she's black and brown. And Donald Trump, not even 24 hours after almost being killed for the second time, is just pouring gas all over, all over the, the politics of our country. And he doesn't give a damn if anybody gets hurt because of it. Kamala is killing black and Hisp Hispanic heritage. She is killing their legacy and their rights. Donald Trump is only going to continue to get worse. The rhetoric is going to continue to get turned up by him because as he gets closer and closer to losing this election and realizing that, you know, 
all those trials, all those all those trials that are that are uh, uh, upping the the rhetoric that are that are causing the bullets to fly. I think, as he put it, he's going to face the consequences for his illegal action. Those trials are going to move forward, and because he's not going to win the presidency, and he's not going to be able to interfere in those trials, well. He's going to turn to more violent rhetoric. And then right after he loses, he's going to announce that he's running for president again so that he can say, hey, look, hey, I'm a presidential candidate. These trials, oh, man, you can't, you can't, you can't come at me with this stuff. Look, they're letting all the immigrants in. Look, that, that, that black and brown lady, right? She's, she's letting all the immigrants in. The border's wide open. We got to, we got to fight. We got to stop it. Donald Trump, the arson who lit the fire in this country, has shown up and he's just pouring gas all over it. Doesn't give a damn who gets hurt.